by year six, this is your English lesson for Thursday the 11th of February. So today I'd like to be finishing our instructional guide. When you do, I'd like you to freeze the video on the features and see how many of these features you've included. So we'll go back to the features. So I'm hoping that you've used modal verbs, could, should, must, may. You must wear clean sterile gloves. You should check that your casualty is conscious. You could, there are lots of emotions afterwards. The imperative verbs, you won't be able to write it without using these, sit, stand, press, cover, remove, check. Obviously I want you to set it out in a way where you've got sections, bullet points, subheadings. I'm hoping you've used formal language and these adverbial phrases that tell us how, how long, where and why you're doing different things. Okay, so check back for the features. I also want to have a look and see that you can actually present your leaflets as beautifully as possible. So make them really, really eye-catching. So let's go back to these really lovely examples that we've got here. So this one has got the different steps, okay? Call 999 or 112 for emergency help if the bleed does not stop. Keep checking that the casualty is responsive. If the casualty becomes unresponsive, check that their airway is clear. And then it gives a really brilliant description there about what you do, and then if not, you need to start CPR. Okay, it shows you things not to do, shows you things to do. So any sort of diagrams, bits and pieces like that will make your leaflet look really attractive. Um, Eye-catching, because obviously you want people to use your leaflet. This one again, I do love, it's got some really good little diagrams in it. Okay, had a warning section, do not blow into the gloves. When you do your first aid training, they tell you if you're blowing into the gloves, it won't be clean anymore because you've blown all of your saliva into it. Um, applying the bandage, don't apply a bandage with a, an object in the wound. Okay, um, here it says whilst waiting for the ambulance, make sure that the casualty stays responsive. So all sorts of really important things in there. Okay, so let me write the next section of my report here. Then I've done some extra sections here. I've got a preventing shock section. So I've said you can use a blanket to keep your casualty warm. Maybe that you need to lie your casualty down. And it may be that you need to raise the legs. So if they've got a bleed on their hand, then you can raise the legs to keep the circulation going. You can raise them onto a chair. It shows you that in some of the videos on the St. John's Ambulance website. When you call the emergency services, this is the number you need to call. You need to tell the emergency services where you are. You need your location and you need to tell them about the injury. And you may wish to use speakerphone so that you can continue treating your patient. Okay, so my last section I'm gonna do here is securing my dressing. Okay, so I'm going to say, it is essential to use a, I'm going to write it sort of in this section here, I think, it is essential to use a sterile, non-fluffy dressing. So this is when you've got a bleeding injury. So it will not stick to the wound. Ensure the dressing is secure. Oops. Ensure the dressing is secure using a bandage which will stop the bleeding but not cut off the circulation. And this is really important, you'll see this in the videos. So once you have secured the bandage, you need to check that it's not too tight. And how you do that, you can check by pressing the skin beyond the bandage. So if you've bandaged up their hand, you can press the skin on the finger. Okay, you can check this by pressing the skin beyond the bandage. If the colour does not return, so when you press it, it goes white. Um, and then maybe I'll just do it under the camera. If you press, it goes white and then the colour returns within two seconds. Look. And that's because my circulation is going, thank goodness. You can check by pressing the skin beyond the bandage. If the colour does not return, within 
two seconds. The bandage is too tight. And all of this information is in the videos for you, okay? Year six, I don't expect you to know. So you will have need to watch your video. So this is my report about how to treat a severe bleed. So I'm hoping that you have chosen a different injury to treat and talked all about how you can do that with lots and lots of description and using all of the features that we talked about earlier. Okay, I look forward to seeing your leaflets. I look back at these um, fantastic leaflets that we've got here. Okay. Um, good luck, here six.